Hi, it's Steve O'Hare from Signal Center Acuity, and today's trade of the week is sterling dollar. Now we're going to take a look at the new sentiment analysis, then dive into some technical analysis to see if uh, we're seeing the same sort of picture or whether we can see a few levels that will uh, probably be defining in the coming week. Now looking at sterling dollar, we can see the new sentiment has been moving lower and, and really bottomed out around about the 29th of April. Since then, we've seen new sentiment improving uh, for sterling dollar. Price action in sterling dollar has followed new sentiment down and over the last few days has also moved lower. However, on the 8th, which is yesterday, we saw a 40% uh, confidence rating, uh, well, 40% of the last 10 occurrences, price has risen within eight days of this notification. You see this green chevron here, 40% rating. So, uh, and we can see on the radial gauge that price action has also moved uh, higher over the last 24 hours. Remember, this is new sentiment on a seven day EMA, uh, seven day exponential moving average, and that has been moving higher over the last couple of uh, time frames. Let's take a look now at what cable or sterling dollar looks like on uh, across the multiple time frames. So the weekly chart is interesting, a few key levels that we can see. We can see obviously from 2021, we had this double top formation, price action broke lower eventually, retesting at the start of the year, January 22, we saw a retest of this 136.87 resistance, price action moved down lower um, and broke through the support coming in at 131.60. Since then, really, we've seen three or four weeks of really aggressive negative price action. So it's been a big move over this time period, seeing uh, prices actually lose uh, nearly 6% on this overall down move. Now we have stalled just in front of 122.51, which was a weekly swing low back in June. 2020. Support below here comes in the form of the inverted hammer week, which is the 18th of May 2020, and that comes in at 120.75. And below that, um, we can see the um, the pre-pandemic lows or the pandemic lows when, the, when we first really started to react to the pandemic. Uh, the move down to 122.60 would be the next line of support after that. So that's the weekly chart. Looking at the daily chart, we can see a little bit of indecision has crept in, especially last week after this bearish engulfing broke through the flag. So overall further potential downside expected. However, we saw price action stall last week, almost posting a bullish hammer, in fact. So there is potential a little bit for the upside to be retested. Already this week, we've had a significant range. And we can see that the low and the high have been taken out from last week's price action. So uh, again, this volatility is expected to continue. We saw a bullish engulfing on the four hour chart between 10 and two o'clock today, where it's uh, time now is nearly four o'clock. And we've seen a significant um, move lower from this reaction high to 124, movement lower. So really significant levels really a break of 122.60 or a break above the 124 figure should really see uh, a little bit more of a trend going into the day. On the hourly chart, we do have the signs of an inverted head and shoulders formation. Um, however, the right shoulder is now uh, lower than the head. So maybe not quite as significant. This may need to be withdrawn, but we can see that this really nice move higher, this four hour, push higher, fail to hold, and it's broken down, um, but on this hourly candle, forming another inverted hammer. So maybe signs of this uh, bottoming formation may have a little bit more to play out. So uh, let's see how that plays out um, on the sterling dollar. And uh, yeah, look forward to speaking again next week.